Greetings students and welcome to another chemistry lesson with Mr. D. We are going to be doing nuclear balancing word problems. So in this case you're going to have an English phrase like americium 244 decays by alpha emission. Uh, so there's a lot to unpack here. First off, americium 244, this is an isotope name and what it is telling us is our americium is going to be, you know, AM off of the periodic table. 244 is its mass, which means we are going to put that in the upper left corner. I look at my periodic table and it says that americium is number 95, so that will be in my lower right, because remember the lower right is your protons, which does not change. Now it says it decays by alpha emission. What this means is it means it's going to break down naturally. That's what the decay means. And it emits an alpha particle. And if you remember from earlier, alpha particles have four uh, mass, two positive charge, and I like to draw the little fish symbol. You can also draw an HE symbol for helium because that's what alpha particles are. Now, we're then going to have something else that appears here. Uh, because we need to have our top numbers match and our bottom numbers match. So what we're dealing with now is we are dealing with a mystery element, uh, some other piece that is there. And we're going to see this a lot as we go through this. So I'm going to keep these ones and we're just going to do those in black as they come up. So we need all these top numbers to equal and we need these bottom numbers to equal. So again, we are looking for something else here to make all those numbers equal so the law of conservation is upheld, which it always has to be. So we've got 244 on one side, 4 on the other, which means what is missing is 240. So then I do the same thing for the bottom part. We've got 95 and 2, which means the difference to that is 93. When we look at uh, the periodic table to find out what element is missing, we check the 93 because that's our positive charge. As I take a look at my periodic table, that is Neptunium, so capital N, lowercase p. Remember, when it comes to elements, we always do a capital letter first and we do a lowercase letter second. So here's my next problem that I'm going to take care of. Gadolinium-161 and an alpha particle are formed from a decaying element. Now, there is a trick to this one a bit because it says are formed. Okay, this is implying that the question is kind of backwards. Okay, because the stuff that we're gonna get is the gadolinium and the alpha particle. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this in green. So here we go. Now, this means that our gadolinium and our alpha particle are what is made. So that is going to be after our arrow. So I'm gonna put my arrow first. I'm gonna put my gadolinium. Now, as you see here, it says the gadolinium is 161. Remember that number is its mass. I look at the table to find out that gadolinium has a positive charge of 64. Now, it also says an alpha particle was formed. So again, that's R4 to fishy. Uh, now, we still have to have this decaying element, this thing that it is looking for. So that, in this case, is our mystery element. So I am going to, again, use black for my mystery elements. Uh, now, in this case, we have all the numbers on the one side. So we're going to add these together, the 61 and the 4, because we need that to be equal on the other side. So that's going to wind up being 165. Okay. So it's going to be 165. Now, the bottom, we've got 64 and 2. So added that all together, we're going to wind up with 66. I look up element 66, and that is dysprosium. I have a fun element I don't get to use very often. Dysprosium. So there we go. Now, that shows us what happens when it's flipped, when it's backwards. And you know that because of the whole R formed thing. But it can get more complicated than that. 
Uh, as you see here with this, holmium-168 is bombarded with fluorine-18 to produce another element and releasing two neutrons. So there's a lot going on here. To start with, at least it's in the right order, so we can start at the beginning. Uh, holmium-168 is our start, so let me just write that down there, 168. And holmium is uh, my capital H with an O. I just wanted to make sure of that. I don't get to use it too often. Uh, and uh, remember, if you mess up, feel free to correct it. Uh, mistakes happen all the time. And this is element number 67. Okay. Now, it is bombarded, meaning it is hit with a fluorine 18. So we've got our 18 mass are nine from fluorine and a capital F for that element. It makes a new element and it releases two neutrons. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a blank there. Now, when it comes to those two neutrons, I recommend just put them separate. As you remember from an earlier lesson, neutrons have a mass of one, but no positive charge. So it's one, zero, N, and there's two of them. Now, this is, of course, like the basic way to do it, and it is what I recommend. The other way to do that would be to put a capital two and then the one, zero, N. That capital two, that bigger two, is called a coefficient, and we're going to get to that a lot when we balance chemical reactions, but for now, I would just write out the nuclear reaction a longhand. I, that's just my recommendation. Uh, now... We are now going to find our mystery element, you know, so we want to find the thing that makes this all work. Uh, so over here we've got 168 and 18, which means that's a total of 186. Now 186, two of those are already claimed by these neutrons, which means what is left is 184. At the bottom we have got 70 or 67 and 9 together that is 76 and there's nothing that affects it on the other side so it's just 76 at the bottom i look up element number 76 on the periodic table and i am dealing with osmium i osmium o s and that is our mystery element so again highly recommend just doing it simple and, uh, you know, maybe not doing that yet. I, if you're comfortable, feel free to do that. I mean, it is correct, but that's up to you. So take care, students. Nice teaching you again, and good luck.